I want to turn uh, to the historical precedents here. There are a lot of mm. analysts out there across the country, around the world, in these rogue capitals also, trying to figure out, are there echoes here of Chamberlain in Obama? Um, what, what period of history are we in? Does this remind you of the Carter era? Um, do you, when you look at this president, who does he remind you of? Well, you know, some a, a very wise foreign policy person once said that all foreign policy experts in the 20th century have approached every historical incident from this perspective. Is this Munich or is it Vietnam? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is the yeah. Munich template okay, or the Vietnam template? Okay, so I'll ask template. the question, is it Munich or is it Vietnam or is, well, it, is yeah, it neither? Well, I'll give you an image of something it is not as bad as, as look, we're in a fix and... White House incompetence got us into this fix, and it is historic because it has to do with serious power movements uh, in the Mideast and, and maybe elsewhere. That having been said, when I read Putin's op-ed piece, my mind immediately flashed back to Nikita Khrushchev mm -hmm. when I was a child, literally banging his shoe at a podium, I think at the UN, and literally saying, we will bury you to the United States. That was a bad moment. <laughs> you know a very I mean? bad moment. Yeah, that was, it was terrible stuff. It's almost good news that we have changed, changed our way of speaking to, to aggressive little op-ed pieces in newspapers. Well, but is it the but same thing look, in a different form? I think Putin is a power player, not to rely too much on peas, but uh, this is a, a, actually a rather serious, I think, geopolitical strategist who has his own personality and characterological drama going on. Um, uh, it is my sense that he sees, to some degree, our president's confusion and ambivalence, feels disdain for him, puts him aside as a guy not, not appropriately the in measure. the big leagues. Taking yeah, the measure he's taken his measure and it has not been a, a positive measure and he is now pushing him around. Is that good? No. No. It's actually very scary. Declarations columnist Peggy Noonan, thank you so much for being on the Thanks, show. Thanks, Mary.